Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shantae, and here's our list of the top 10 celebrities who hate Prince Harry. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell to get notified because we wouldn't want you to miss out on any new videos. First up, we have Piers Morgan. One could argue Piers Morgan's vendetta against Meghan Markle, which appears to stem solely from the time she apparently ghosted him after one drink tanked his gig on Good Morning Britain. But when he's not issuing harsh words against the suit star, the former CNN host can be found bad-mouthing her husband. Yes, Prince Harry has also regularly ended up in the crosshairs of this disgraced ex-newspaper editor. In the space of just one month in 2021, Morgan went on Hannity and claimed that the royal only criticized the First Amendment because he doesn't want to be held accountable by the press, tweeted that Harry's a hypocrite who makes money off his public family drama, and offered his support to Noel Gallagher's anti-Harry tirade. Of course, Piers Morgan had plenty of time to weigh in on the Sussexes. He walked away from his hosting gig on the TV show Good Morning Britain, live on air after his co-star challenged his constant harassment of Meghan Markle. Our next celebrity on the hate train of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry is Noel Gallagher. During the Britpop era, Noel Gallagher was considered by many, including Prime Minister Tony Blair, as the voice of his generation. Regardless of whether you were a fan of Oasis, Beatles-influenced indie rock, you could always appreciate a clever one-liner from the guitarist. However, after a quarter of a century, the older Gallagher brother sounds like the kind of dinosaur he once rallied against. In a 2021 interview with The Sun, the frontman of the High Flying Birds referred to Prince Harry as a woke snowflake in response of his criticism of the royal family. Noel even sympathized with Prince Harry citing his own sibling rivalry with Liam Gallagher and saying, I understand that guy's pain. He has a younger brother who is spouting unnecessary nonsense. I'd like to think I was always the William. Noel Gallagher, who was promoting a greatest hits collection, also criticized Meghan Markle, stating, This is what happens when you get involved with Americans. It's as simple as that. Next up, Jeremy Clarkson. Former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson has never been the most sensitive of souls. The TV personality has built a career on offending pretty much every minority group after all. So it was little surprise that he didn't think much of Prince Harry bearing his soul on his Apple TV Plus docuseries in 2021. This man is an army officer, so he should know better than to make a program in which he waxes lyrical about the awfulness of his upbringing. Clarkson wrote in his regular The Times column before adding, the me you can't see is what it's called, though the me you don't want to see is nearer to the mark. He then put forward the theory that such spoiled brats will end up overshadowing those individuals who seriously need help with their mental health. Number seven, Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly's talk show was axed by NBC in 2018 after a questionable defense of blackface. So she might not be the go-to person for a nuanced take on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's allegations of racism during their high profile chat with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. But of course, that didn't stop the former Fox News correspondent from sharing her unsolicited two cents on Twitter. And she didn't spare anyone involved in the interview, not even Oprah. Megyn Kelly argued that the talk show Queen's questioning lacked specifics while also accusing Meghan Markle of unjustly berating the press, the palace, and even her father. But it was the prince who bore the burnt of her criticism. In a tweet, Meghan wrote, Harry won't spill the beans on which family member was concerned about the color of his kid's skin. So they've basically thrown the entire royal family under the bus and Harry claims they haven't put in the work as he has in educating himself. The podcaster then took a dig at both Sussexes, asking, have you ever witnessed such privileged individuals wallowing in their own perceived victimhood? Next up, we have Sharon Osbourne. 
Sharon Osbourne made her loyalty clear in the one-sided Piers Morgan versus Meghan Markle battle. With a tweet defending her former America's Got Talent colleague, she reminded everyone that being paid for your opinion means speaking your truth, which is true to a certain degree. Not even the backlash she faced for supporting Morgan on Good Morning Britain could dampen her spirit. During her appearance on The Real Time with Bill Meyer in 2021, Sharon dismissed Meghan's claims of racism and boldly labeled Prince Harry as the poster boy of white privilege. Even after leaving the talk amidst a racism scandal, Sharon Osbourne didn't hold back. She scuffed at Harry's complaints about being cut off financially, stating, Boo hoo, you're a healthy, bright, educated young man. You can do whatever you want. Your life is your own. Talk about privilege. Number five, Candace Owens. Candace Owens is never one to hold back. Unsurprisingly, she didn't disappoint with her scathing response to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's chat with Oprah Winfrey. After suggesting that the Duke of Sussex was caught in an emotionally harmful relationship, Owens tweeted, Meghan Markle is less than 25% black, her son is less than 12% black, Blaming her blackness for everything that happened to them is a sickening level of scapegoating. And what Harry is doing to his family who can't respond is simply unforgivable. She couldn't resist coming for Harry after the premiere of his Apple TV Plus project, The Me You Can't See, two months later. Referencing the mental health documentary series, Owens tweeted, It's been three days since Prince Harry gave another exclusive interview about how much he and Meghan despise his family. Someone should really check on them. Our next celebrity is considered to be one of the closest to the royal family. At number four, we have Paul Burrell. You can always rely on the man Princess Diana called her rock to share his opinion whenever there's a story involving her family. After Prince Harry's mental health documentary series, former royal butler Paul Burrell expressed his disappointment. Paul Burrell believes that Harry is airing his personal matters in public will only bring him more pain and regrets. Paul Burrell also thinks that Meghan has encouraged Harry to seek therapy and change his mindset, but he worries that Harry will be left broken when everything comes to an end. Number three, Lawrence Fox. Born into a showbiz dynasty, Lawrence Fox was once a semi-respectable actor known for playing sidekick DS James Hathaway in the detective drama series Lewis. But lately, he has taken it upon himself to rid the world of wokeness, even running for mayor of London in 2021, only to be bested by YouTube prankster Nicole Amalana with a measly 1.9% of votes. And let's not forget his favorite target, the royal family's most high-profile couple. Meghan Markle bears the burnt of his harm, with Fox claiming she left the UK for America simply for a little extra attention. But don't worry, he doesn't spare Harry either. Let's check out his reaction to their interview with Oprah Winfrey. On Twitter, Fox referred to the former suit star as the Duchess of Vogue victimhood and added Her Majesty should strip these greedy, hypocritical, freeloading, narcissistic brats of their titles. They're the exact thing they accuse everyone else of being. Our next celebrity isn't as harsh with her words, but she still took a jab at Harry. At number two, Meghan McCain. Prince Harry caused a stir when he talked about a core American constitutional right on the Armchair Expert podcast in 2021. While acknowledging his limited understanding as a recent arrival, he pointed out the potential for exploiting loopholes instead of upholding the intended meaning. This sparked more discussion with Meghan McCain, disagreeing and reminding Harry about the importance of respecting the First Amendment. Despite their differences, McCain did express admiration for Harry's wife on The View earlier that year. Last but not least, at number one, another celebrity who expressed their opinion on Prince Harry's view on the First Amendment is Sean Hannity. Unfortunately, he wasn't as nice as Meghan McCain. 
Prince Harry's comments on Armchair Expert about the First Amendment ruffled feathers and triggered another Fox News regular. Sean Hannity introduced the Invictus Games founder as England's royal ping in the butt on one of his show episodes in 2021. After implying that Prince William's younger brother needs some education, the conservative commenter directly addressed the royal saying, Harry, we don't really need your lectures on the First Amendment from England, just so you know, it's the same First Amendment that allowed you and your wife to spill the tea on your own family during the Oprah Winfrey interview. You two didn't hold back when it came to accusing your family of racism. Sean Hannity then wondered if Harry should consider relocating to a place more compatible with his restrictive ideas. But let us know your opinion in the comments if you think Harry voicing his opinion on the rights of Americans was a good idea. But with that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us on this crazy ride of all the celebrities who hate Prince Harry. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.